This is the Sugar Mill Gardens in Port Orange, Florida. I'm going to take some footage here. But if I see somebody coming, I'm going to stop the video and then resume it. Back in the late 40s, early 50s, this used to be called Bongo Land, and they had sculptures of dinosaurs here made out of concrete. There's some still on the property, which I'll get to shortly. I don't know what that is they're growing. Hmm, interesting. It's a really nice property. This is part of old Florida, I guess you would say. This would be one of the structures from Bongo Land right here. There's one of the dinosaurs right over there. history there. There it is, the vicious, I don't know, is that supposed to be Tyrannosaurus Rex? I'm not quite sure. It looks like kind of humorous. Anyway. That's from Bongo Land. Some of these statues are been here a long time. Oh, that's the giant ground sloth. Alright, there we go. It's beautifully maintained grounds here. Must take a lot to keep this up. Like I said, I'm trying not to get people in my video. I don't want to record people if they don't want to be on the video. So you're going to see some breaks in this footage that I take. They put a lot of effort into maintaining this and it's free. And you could sit here and relax, read a book, take a walk. They even tell you what all these plants are that are growing here. I think another one of the Bongo Land exhibits is straight ahead. I see something big there. Yeah, Triceratops. That's one of the original exhibits from Bongo Land. Pretty cool.
You won't see a lot of these plants up north. Look at that tree. Here's another display from Bongo Land right here. That's Dimetrodon. There's another dinosaur exhibit right there. Looks like Stegosaurus. Pretty sure. There's a little history on Bongo Land right there. And you can see the remnants of a exhibit that was right here that more than likely fell apart. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else back this way. This is kind of where the maintenance of the grounds stop, I guess. Yeah, it's really worth visiting uh, Sugar Mill Gardens here in Port Orange. Definitely relaxing and you can get away from the heat here because there's a lot of shade. A lot of shade. In Florida, you can't generally get away from the sun. I mean, unless you're indoors. There's really nowhere to hide from it. But here, you've got a lot of shade here in this virtually untouched part of Port Orange, I guess you'd say. All right, I think that's the end of my tour here, the Sugar Mill Gardens. Actually, no, no, it's not. That's right, I'll just take you for a quick run over by where they actually had the sugar um, plant, I guess you would say. I'll have to show you that. Yeah, so over this way is the Sugar Mill Ruins. They built that large uh, canopy over the ruins to obviously protect them. I guess you could ring the gong if you'd like. So 
So this is the old sugar plantation. Sugar mill, whatever you want to call it. All right, I guess that's it from the Sugar Mill Gardens, Port Orange, Florida. That's my condensed tour. If you get a chance here in this area, on a nice relaxing day, visit Sugar Mill Gardens. Trail fan Rob, over and out.